Hi everybody, Patrick here from EscapeRoomElectronics.com and EngineeringShock.com. Uh, today I'm going to actually use two of my Kickstarter campaigns to work together for this linear actuator. So this is this is the IRXY linear actuator and maglock driver board, and that is my last second last Kickstarter campaign, and this is my current Kickstarter campaign, which is the fast RFID reader module. And so I've modified the code for the IRXY to work with the fast RFID reader. Uh, if you want to know more about the Fast RFID Reader, check out the link below. When the campaign is done, I'll upload uh, all the code samples uh, to the uh, project page for the Fast RFID Reader module, and I'll actually up, uh, up make an update at the end of this campaign for the IRXY to include the code to allow for you to use RFID to uh, work your linear actuator. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you a demo, and I'm going to show you how the uh, fast RFID reader module connects to the IRXY and I'm going to talk about the jumper settings and the connection settings as a secondary video manual for the uh, IRXY. With that said, I've got five cards programmed to the fast RFID reader. Doesn't matter which one we use. Uh, this is an incorrect card. An incorrect card will not do anything. Any of the program cards will push the um, linear actuator out, you can stop it at any time and pull it in with another card. And now it's going back in. I can bring it back out, pull it back in all the way and it'll stop on its own once it reaches its limits either all the way out or all the way in. And that's it. Like it's just one, it's a quick addition to the IRXY for those who have pledged towards the reader. So let's talk about the connections. We have Brown connected to GD on the right. We have orange connected to 5 volts. We have red connected to D plus, and we have nothing connected to D minus. On the IRXY board, we have the brown wire connected to the AC1 terminal, blue to the AC2 terminal. Also, both of these jumpers have been removed. That's very important. For this piece of code, we have S2 set to B, S3 set to B, the mic slash LDR jumper, we don't, it doesn't matter, uh, that's in the back here, and we have the 5 volt wire, uh, orange, connected to the leftmost pin from this perspective. We have the D plus pin, red, connected to the middle pin of S1, sorry, this is the S1 header right here and uh, we've got brown connected to the rightmost pin. I realize it's a little bit hard to see the colors in this light. But that's how we have it connected. So again, S2 and S3 connected to B um, and we're using the S1 header to connect to our, um, our RFID reader. So again, ground to the right, we're using brown. Red, which is D plus to the middle pin, and uh, 5 volts in orange to the left. And that's everything we need to know for this test. Next, I'm going to reset by pressing the RST button. And I am going to press the S1 button four times. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to press S2, which will lock us into card read mode. Now this is an optional upgrade for the software for the IRXY. Completely up to you if you want to use it or not. So now we are in card scan mode. Incorrect card, nothing. Correct card, it'll go. It'll continue to go until I use another card that's already programmed onto the Easy RFID reader to pull it all the way back in. And in case you haven't checked out the Kickstarter campaign for the Easy RFID reader. I programmed these five cards into EEPROM memory without any computer, just a power supply, a jumper, five cards, it takes less than a minute. So I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, thanks for watching, check out the Kickstarter, it's linked below, the Easy RFID Reader, it's easy to use, it's very inexpensive, uh, I, hope, uh, I hope you'll have a look. Thanks for watching everyone.